Hey guys, Deirdre Malumbi with entertainment.ie here and today I'm giving a mini review for The Young Offenders season three, which has returned to screens in Ireland and the UK. Don't worry if you haven't seen it yet as this review is spoiler free. However, there may be spoilers for seasons one and two of the series, so go and watch those now and then come back to this. How dare, dare you? you? Never do something illegal. First, some context for those less familiar with the show. The Young Offenders was originally a movie that hit cinemas in 2016 and proved so popular it was developed into a television series with almost all the same characters and cast members. Now into its third season, the series has developed substantially on the quirk teenagers we met in the movie. Jock, played by Chris Wally, has always been getting his best mate Connor, played by Alex Murphy, into all kinds of schemes. Now that he's a father to baby star with Siobhan, the boys are still getting into trouble. However, being a dad is forcing Jock to grow up and take more responsibility. Oh boy, I'm starting to question if bringing a baby on a heist is a good idea or a fucking stupid idea. We'll have the job done in an hour and then we'll have our back watching Peppa Pig on a state-of-the-art 50-inch plasma screen TV, won't we? Connor continues to be happy out with girlfriend Linda while his mum Mairead continues to grapple with her feelings for Sergeant Healy who Jock and Connor's feud with seems to be coming to a head. As teased by the trailer, this season also see the lads go to the Debs, which you just know will be a disaster. So, having covered the plot, what did we think of the boys' third outing? There is plenty to enjoy and the young offenders show no sign of slowing down anytime soon. Wally and Murphy are as charming and hilarious as always, though one worries about how they're getting older and may not be able to pull off being teenagers forever. So we've got you on our side. Yeah, but he's got fitness and a faster bike and the law. Meanwhile, Hilary Rose as Mimi Mairead really comes into her own too, particularly in an early episode where she gets to go off the rails. It's great to see more of Shane Casey as well, who plays Billy, once a foe and now a friend across the series. Moreover, as always, the show manages to get you clutching your stomach, laughing one minute and reaching for the tissues emotionally the next. Our final score, four out of five stars. Let us know what you thought of the series in the comments and be sure to like and subscribe for more mini reviews.